What is it like to keep living with a great loss in your life? Loss, grief, strength. Five of us are Irish women who have a common experience of chronic pain. Five of us are from Afghanistan and we arrived in Ireland as refugees six months ago. Together we made poetry and art as a reflection and expression of loss, grief and strength in our lives. But both groups here have major losses, um, either after seeking international protection or from facing a life with chronic pain. Um, and that's the major loss, that's the big loss up here. Before living with chronic pain, I was expected to succeed. Since living with chronic pain, I am fighting to survive. Before seeking international protection, I was helpless. Since receiving international protection, I am alive and I am deserving of life. I could see that there was surprising similarity in the emotional impacts on both groups whether they were refugees from Taliban or refugees from pain. The impact of world events can seem so unique and personal, like the impact of chronic pain can feel so unique and personal. I draw the leader, uh, leader of Taliban. I had bad uh, memories for all of Taliban because uh, in the past, Taliban killed my sister and my cousin. I had bad memories of the Taliban. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's uh, so sad mm -hmm. for all people, especially for me. Mm -hmm. Because I left everything. My job, my friends, my family, mm -hmm. my sister. My um, I was an actor and a dancer and um, a creator of, with my body and then I got a virus and it, it took all the skin off my nerve endings. I have nerve damage from the crown of my head to here. So I have little showers of electricity like this coming up of my head in noise in bright light, in wind. For three years I was a pain hermit, I was locked in. I couldn't be in a breeze, I couldn't be in ordinary light because it was just constant electricity. And it felt like there was no future because what can you do if you, if you can't even step out the door? Um, and then, slowly, as happens with us all, when we have to face these big changes, I began to uh, find balance and find courage and ask for help and get out and start living again. But the living was slower and the options were fewer. And, um, and I was instantly an older woman. Sadness is sadness, loss is loss, grief is grief, anger is anger. But all of us sat in the room, sharing photographs and paintings and words that carried our feelings. Each of us, despite our problems, well in that moment, creative in that moment, strong in that moment. When I am creating, I feel transported out of myself. This is a blessed relief. When I am creating, I am very well and I feel good and relaxed. Everyone was so open about their pain. It's something I struggle to be honest about. And seeing others lay their experiences bare without apology surprised me and encouraged me. Opening up to a bunch of strangers takes a lot of courage. It's been helpful to feel less alone, to be in a room where everyone understands and you're allowed to grieve and be in pain and not be told to get over it or ignore it. I feel free, beyond the limitations of my body, concentrated, focused, free. It's been reassuring, 
insightful and interesting. I feel seen. I feel seen. Courageous. I think experiencing is courageous. Talash very better than is in the Gidora. You are struggling to get better and better. Bobola Shikasa Paridan Honarimos, but in English, jumping with broken wings is our heart. Oh. Yeah. Jumping with broken wings is an art. When I'm actively seeking the light, it's much easier to spot all of the sources of radiance already in my life. People have been able to laugh and engage without diminishing the impact of their struggles because it hasn't felt like they're being strong despite their pain. It felt like they're strong and they're in pain. The strength I see in you is resilience, hope, determination, warmth, kindness, effort and courage. The strength I see in you is the ability to recognize the light in others, to continue living while in pain, keeping hope.